it'll make this country safer, and the Supreme Court believes it also. A travel ban to the U.S. from seven countries, five of them mostly Muslim, will stay in place after a 5-4 decision from the Supreme Court. A tremendous success, a tremendous victory for the American people. Sheriff Jones says the move is one he believes will protect our borders and make our communities safe. We care about being able to go do what we can and not be blown up or killed by people that are coming in from other countries. I don't care what countries they come from, come here legally and don't come here to do harm. The Council on American Islamic Relations advocates for Muslim civil rights and calls today's ruling a setback while promising to continue fighting to reverse this ruling from the United States highest court. The Muslims are part of this country. They're part of the fabric of this country and they are going to be treated the same as everyone else. And today that was not displayed. It just means that we have to continue working toward um, the American ideal of liberty and justice for all. This comes less than a week after migrant families being separated at the U.S. border sparked an outcry and protests across the nation. Sheriff Jones says he supports the president's no tolerance policy, believing this too will help protect the country. These people are committing crimes and they're bringing their kids over the border. Don't do it. Stay home. And if you come across that border, you should be shipped back. Now, the Muslim community in Ohio plans to take their fight to Congress, the courts, and the public, calling the decision a setback, but not the end of the road. Reporting live in the newsroom, Amanda Kelly, WLWT News 5.